Hi, my name is JV. I am a school trainer in Nepal. My name is Neera Chawlagan. I am also a school trainer in Nepal. And we are here in Culture Orientation Center, the Nepal. Let's get into the class. OSCO is a worldwide program that takes place in many countries. Once grants are made by an Australian embassy, the names then go to the International Organization for Migration, where we get people ready for their trip to Australia. Part of that preparation is the OSCO course. Here in Nepal, courses are taught by Nepali trainers because the Bhutanese themselves are ethnic Nepali, so they have a common culture and speak a common language. We have two trainers here. Both of them have been to Australia on numerous occasions. They've studied the refugees that have gone before and seen their experiences there. So they're well-qualified people on both sides, the Australian side and the Bhutanese. The OSCO course is five days long. In that five days, we cover everything from how to shake hands in the Australian way, how to use a Western toilet, to uh, issues with family violence, and how to answer interview questions. I think this is very important for the refugees to start their new life in Australia because they have very unrealistic expectations before they travel to Australia. So we make them to prepare for their new life, managing the real expectations. So this is very important. Uh, refugees are changing their life. It's, we call them that they are getting a new birth. So for them, OSCO class is really important because they are not used to modern equipments and even the life in a developed country, they have been living in refugee camps since 20 years. Before that, they were living in underdeveloped country. So for them, going to a challenging place, it's really important. Through the OSCO course, they gain three things. They gain knowledge about things that they don't know about. They get skills and they get to explore attitudes about things like family violence, the changes in family roles and so forth uh, that they may not have considered. OSCO class is not, uh, not a kind of uh, uh, traditional class. Uh, we have our, our different methodologies and uh, teaching uh, principles. Uh, we, tr uh, we try to tell them that you are your first resource, take charge of your uh, own learning. Uh, we, uh, we deliver the OSCO training as an interactive way, uh, active learning. When you get to go to Australia and when you see them, like the participants few months back who was struggling in your class, who was really nervous, and today like when you go there, like they ask you, okay, do you want to take a ride in my car? Or like they just want to show their new house. So that's really satisfactory for me. The experience uh, OSCO training is uh, really overwhelming for me uh, because uh, I'm not only teaching them but I also got, uh, get to learn so many things from them as well and uh, I have met so many refugees in Australia. We get emails and phone calls from there and they really appreciate our work so it's really, really, really appreciating for us.